Today we're looking at this microphone, which is designed for streamers. It's got RGB and it even comes with its own boom arm. Add in a camera and probably a green screen and you've got one hell of a streaming setup. The box itself is straightforward. It's mainly green and black. It shows you a picture of the device. It says it's RGB. You've got two audio modes. It's got the arm included, well, that's the mount arm, which you can mount on your desk and position the microphone how you want, which is really good. And it's also got a shock mount and pop filter, and it's designed in Germany. On the side of the box, it shows you a picture of the boom arm, and on the back, it tells you all the specifications as well as being multilingual. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors and meet some of the biggest names in the industry where you can go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. Then what's more, you'll get that for a quid. TechMax 2023 will be on the 23rd of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadowhall in Sheffield. This event will be over four times larger than last year's event, and this year's event will incorporate a live tech awards, dedicated meeting rooms, demo and interactive areas, and up to 800 other techs just like you. Get registered now at tftmax.com. So this is what's inside the box. You've got the manual, which is multilingual. It tells you about the microphone arm via a QR code. You've also got a tripod version you can buy, which is a different pod product. You don't get the arm as well as a tripod in the same box. So you have to buy either the microphone with the arm or the microphone with the tripod. Personally, I prefer the ones with the arms because you can get the microphone closer to your mouth, which means better sound quality. And not only that, it also gives you a few other advantages, which we'll talk about in a few seconds. On the other side of the manual, it gives you three pictures, which shows you how to put it together. It looks more complicated than it is, but it is actually quite simple. You've got three cable ties, which are branded, which is really good. You've got two cables. You only need to use one of these, either or. You've got one what's got USB Type-C on both ends. Bear in mind, it's 1.8 meters long. Same with the other cable, but this one's USB Type-C on one end and USB Type-A. So the USB Type-C connection goes into the microphone, the USB Type-A would go into your laptop or PC. You've also got this part here, which is a clamp that clamps the microphone to your desk or table, so it goes over the edge. We'll show you how that works in a few minutes. You've got a pop filter here. This stops, obviously, you spitting on the microphone as well as making sort of a pop pop noises and it making it sound really bad and picking up lots of bass and stuff like that. It just basically cleans up the actual sound a bit better. You've got the tripod itself, or shall we say boom arm, not tripod. Obviously, if you buy the version what comes with a tripod, you get a tripod instead of the boom arm. You've got this part as well. This is basically helps stabilize the microphone and stops it picking up vibrations from the desk. So let's say you knock your table or bang it, you type in, it stops sending all those noises directly through to the microphone, which is really good. And then you've got the microphone itself, which we'll look at closer in a few seconds. So let's have a look at the clamp first. So it's pretty straightforward. You adjust the clamp using this bit and turn it round to make this gap bigger or smaller, and that will go over the side of your desk or table or whatever you're going to attach it to. And then basically you tighten it up so it doesn't move. It is rubberized on the bottom and top part, which is gonna clamp onto your desk, so it shouldn't scratch or damage it too much. But bear in mind, if you do over tighten it or you've got a very poorly made desk, then it could potentially cause a few issues, but it's very rare that happens. Now, it's pretty straightforward. As I said, you just basically go over the edge of your table like it is here. Uh, so it's flush in as far as it'll go. And then you just tighten it up using the bar, what's at the bottom, until it's in nice and tight. And once it's in, you can then attach the rest of the microphone. Now, this part is your boom arm. It's pretty straightforward. It flexes around and bends so it'll fit your table and needs. And you do have a part in the middle there to tighten it to hold it in position as well as on the end here where the end of the microphone will be attached to via your shock mount. Now the full black area which sticks out at the bottom there that's what goes into that clamp. You just push it straight down into that clamp hole there 
like that. You can position it at whatever angle you want. You can leave it loose if you want to, but I would advise you use the little turning circle on there to just tighten it up and that way it stops it rotating on your desk once you've got it in the position you actually wanted it. If you have got it slightly loose in there, you can rotate it around with ease, as you can see, and you can also adjust it, as I said, to fit the height and angle of your needs. So here you've got your microphone. You should be able to use it with two people either side because you've got a microphone section there as well as there from that end. There's not much to see on the top, in all honesty. You've got a white ring going round there. That's going to be for your RGB effect, which you should be able to change with this little button here. I'm presuming that's got some preset modes and gives you an option to turn the RGB off as well if you don't want it. You've got your gain control there, so you can adjust how loud the microphone is, or at least how loud it sounds to other people. Obviously, test that out before you do a live stream because you don't want it to be too overpowering or too quiet. Also, you can usually turn this on and off by pressing the button itself. So that is not just a volume control, it's actually an on and off button. And then you've got a headset connection there, which you can just plug in your headphones into directly rather than having to plug it into your PC and so forth. On the bottom, you've got that USB Type-C connection. Now you've also got obviously this bit here. This is what screws into the shock mount. But first, you put on your pop filter, just slides on the bottom like that. Once it's in place, it should be nice and level like that. As you can see, it covers up the microphone part. Then you get the shock mount, it slides into there. You want it facing that direction there, so towards you, and then you tighten up the base and it basically locks it into position so it won't slide around. So now you've got it assembled, all you need to do is plug in your USB cable into the bottom there, so the USB Type-C connection into there. And this bit here is what attaches to your boom arm here. So you just pull it out and then screw it on. Bear in mind, it's just screws like that. It can be a little bit tight to do, so just bear with it. And there you go, it's on. Connect the other end to your PC and then you can position the microphone however you want and you can tighten up the various bits to hold it into position depending on how you actually want it. So I'm now using the Streamplify microphone and I've got it roughly around about 10 centimeters away from my mouth by using the boom arm and getting it as close as possible. And I've done a quick test of this, played it back and for myself it sounds pretty good, pretty rich voice to be honest with you. I'm actually quite surprised if, uh, because of the value of the item. It's not the most expensive. A lot of your high-end microphones on the market will set you back at least £100, where this, you're getting, well, a good value because you're not only getting the microphone, you're getting the arm as well. And in a lot of cases, the arms can set you back as much as the microphones. Now, if you do use the microphone a little bit further away from you, so for example, you're using the version with a tripod, it will sound more like this. So now I'm using it at the sort of distance you would use it with a tripod and you would have to turn the gain up a little bit to obviously compensate, which I'm gonna do now. So this will give you a rough idea what it sounds like with the gain turned up, with the microphone further away. But in all honesty, when you're using microphones, you want it practically as close as possible to your mouth as, well, you possibly can. So you're near enough eating it. For example, I'll move this closer to my mouth now and turn the gain down. So this is right next to my mouth again, and you'll hear that the sounds are a lot richer, even though the microphone gain is turned down. You'll also hear a lot less bumping, banging, knocking, and so forth. So for example, I'm just tapping on my desk at the moment, and I'm pretty sure you'll struggle to hear it if you can even hear it at all. I'm gonna type on my keyboard now, just to give you a rough idea. 
So that gives you a rough idea what it sounds like with a standard keyboard. Bear in mind if you've got a really loud mechanical keyboard, it may sound a little bit different. And again, if you are streaming, I suggest you stay away from the mechanical keyboards because they can get quite loud and distracting when you are doing things. But there you go. This is what it sounds like. And actually, I'm very surprised at the quality, especially for the price. Okay, as you can see, we've got the microphone set up here. We've got one here and the one a little bit further down here. This is in our new live studio. We're still in the process of setting it all up, so I don't think this is finalized or anything, but it gives you a rough idea. We're actually willing to use these on our live studio. So that shows you that the quality of the microphones is pretty good, especially if we're going to be going live every week in front of hundreds of people, potentially thousands, then obviously we need a good quality sound, and this is giving us that. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.